and I'm going to show you guys how to be or how to screen record on a Mac. For those of you who don't know, some or there's no like set auto typer for Macs or anything. So what I found out after searching on Google, you just go up here, just type in um, uh, or what I did, I just typed in auto typer script like for a computer science script. Um, for Mac, and when that pops up, pretty much click the first one, which is at site.org, and on this it will have the code that you want to copy and paste into the AppleScript program on your Mac, and you want if you want to find it easily, you just go to the Spotlight, type in AppleScript, it'll be the first thing to pop up, so you can pretty much open that, I have it on my desktop, so I'll just open it from there, and you copy and paste <coughs> the the code from that guy's website who I give credit to into the um, Apple script editor and then and I actually changed mine a little bit because in his code he had it so that where to go I think I exited out crap let's see he had it so that it only goes 10 times and it'll just keep returning it out every 10 times and you have to restart every 10th time it'll ask you to continue or not so I ended up changing it a little bit because of my computer science background. It was a little, it was pretty easy for me to understand the Apple script and the program language and whatnot. So I changed it to make it a in a loop of a thousand times, so that way you pretty much never have to restart it. And if you have to stop it, you just hit stop, and that's pretty much it. So it's really simple. And if you guys want to use the code that I have in mine, I'll just put it in the description so you can use that. It's just a little bit easier, or I guess. It's it's just nicer to use if you're if you're if you know you're going to be sitting there for a long time typing because some items just never sell and a lot of you know that so I'll show you what you have to do I'll open up Word so it can do its magic so pretty much <clears throat> if you want to make any changes to it you just go and um well wow, that's very laggy um. You pretty much just type in whatever you want. You can change the variables, whatever you need to do. Or like here, when it'll pop up, if you hit run, it'll pop up with the box with the text to type. And that is on this line here. And you can type like the default answer which with whatever you want to pop up in there, and that'll come up. Or you can just hit run, and then in here you can type whatever you want. So like, I'll just do something. Actually, I don't really need the white part, so we'll just... And you hit OK, and then click in whatever place you want it to type. And then it'll go. And then, it, and every time it'll hit enter afterwards, that's where it says the uh, keystroke return. That means it'll hit enter when you do it. So if you're in RS, it, you'll, it'll type it out, hit enter for you, and then keep going after 3.5 seconds, which is just about the time that it takes for the words to be up and then to go back away so I made that so that the timing works pretty well and yeah that's pretty much it and then whenever you need to stop you just hit stop and you can do whatever you need to so yeah hope you guys enjoyed and after well after you make your script you can just save it and then so like I said I just have mine chilling on my desktop so you can open it up whenever you need it so yeah hope you, this helped you guys and leave a like favorite subscribe whatever you want to do and we'll be at you with more content thanks for watching